lot of eggs, sliggins, and fucking flatly. Amber I was in here happened. chilling I too. Got the worst politics takes. Was I? Okay. I forgot. Uh, you joined before. I'll talk about for a second there. Legalize, legalize something. I don't know what yet. Cannabis. Federally legalized well, cannabis. Well, like, the industry like, will uh, boost okay, American okay. economy. Child porn. No, fuck that. Okay, so okay I said, Bosh. I said, he, I said to his credit, he gradually distanced himself. And whenever, but Dude, whenever she reaches out I don't to him, give a shit. I'm going to be well, honest. Why are you acting crazy? Then? I'm, I'm, so I'm like, like texting. I don't care to fucking talk about this. Like, But you can like argue and <sighs> fucking text for like. Yeah, I thought you lied in your video. Like, I don't want to fucking argue about it. My mind's, like, kind of made up. So you stand on business. What? Stand on business? Oh, I don't give a fuck. What? <laughs> you, so, do you give a fuck or do you don't give a fuck that I supposedly lied? Uh, I think it's, like, cringe that you lied, but I don't want to, like, debate it. It's, like, me. But you don't want to, but you, you're not going to listen to me when I tell you that I didn't lie. Uh, there's a bunch of weird shit you said. And you said, like, gonna, he had CP getting... and shit like that. I'm like, dude, that's awful. You said they were e-dating. I posit, I posit, okay, the e-dating shit was retarded. I posited, there was some times where I was, I didn't posit as much, but usually I qualify most of the times when I'm talking about that situation that we don't know for sure. And that the images could have been on the same album, but they also couldn't have been. We just don't know. We I don't know for I, sure, I, I but it could that. have been child porn. It could have. We need would, to think do, of what it could you, have been. You, it could have been child porn, and he also could have raped think, like an IRL think, child. Like we don't do you know. Think, do you think a fifteen-year-old like in full? I think fifteen-year-old like, should be allowed to fuck thirty-year-olds. That's what I think. Okay, Blaster. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna be open and say it. Themselves like something can be CP without a kid getting like completely fucked. You know. Uh, I don't think. I don't. I don't. I don't know about that, maybe. Well, I think child porn has an implication of, like, thing. abuse or coercion with it, right? Well, the actual... Depends on, like, the state or the... Uh, I don't know about Canada's, but I'm pretty sure Canada's is actually more strict when it comes to, like, it could literally just be, like, oh, a kid in a Can we use the French definition, then, since we're going by different countries? Well, she's Canadian, so fuck you. We can use Pakistan's definition. They have some cool laws You're about retarded, children. Dude. Dude, I'm just like, I'm telling, I don't fucking, I'm not, I don't care. I thought you lied. I thought you said some really cringe shit. Uh, I believed you at face value, and I probably shouldn't have, and I probably won't in the future. Um, I think if you think that this guy should, like, quit the internet and get therapy after 14 years, that's probably a bit too far, I think. I think losing, how long did he quit YouTube for? Like, three or six months, right? Losing that amount of revenue yeah. on a channel that already doesn't pull that many views in, in the terms of, like, in the grand scheme of things, I think that's probably punishment enough. We don't know his net worth. He could be like he could have already made it. He's probably pretty well off after, you know. Making okay, that many so videos, let's say so someone has ten apples and they earn one apple a week, right? And then for a series of three weeks, they do not earn one apple. So if they use apples, their overall wealth in terms of apples is less, right? So yes, he could have had one bajillion, trillion, quadrillion, quadruple apples, uh, but the loss of the income of the apples to begin with is probably pretty bad, right? I just wanted him to like take accountability and, and show that he actually like cared. And, After and 14 just, years, but he, but yeah, he just true. but he lied. He lied. <laughs> That's He's exactly the same as he was 14 years ago and should be held to the same standards as he was. This is what I'm talking ago. about when you say that you just constantly misrepresent what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying that he's the same person. I'm saying that he clearly doesn't show remorse. For what, do, what do you think accountability means? I think accountability is recognizing your mistakes and actually like acknowledging your mistakes fully, not half-assedly, but fully acknowledging your mistakes and then showing that you are capable of... like. Do you make up At a least. lot of the definitions you use about these things? Do I, do I make I, up I, definitions? I, I, I you because you made up what straw man means, and I feel like you're mating, making up with this. I was, okay, I don't understand how you think that straw manning, like what I said is not straw manning. Okay, so let's say, Burn, do you want to do a little play really quick? I want to do some crowd participation. Let's go. All right, Woo. I'm going to DM you I'm gonna DM you a script, okay? Okay. Actually, Ollie would be better, but... <laughs> what? Oh, you, have a, you have an idea in acting. All right, read that out loud. Hold on. 
playing a game. Fuck. Okay, just say I like the I color like, blue. I like the color blue. So you don't like the color red? No, I didn't say that. I said I like the color blue. So you're implying that you just don't like any other color because you said you like this one color. No. I may like other colors, but the color I like the most is blue. See, that is what a straw man is. A straw man is taking someone's argument and misinterpreting it or misrepresenting it to be less strong, right? That's why it's called a straw man. The argument is make you're making the argument out of straw. So like a steel man argument would be because a steel man also is, is kind of like bad. You don't really want either one, right? So a steel man argument would be Burns saying, I like the color blue. And then me saying, oh, you like the color blue. Like, that's the best color. Obviously, you would like the color blue. There's no other like option there or something like that. Steel mans are a little harder to um, portray in these like retarded color hypotheticals. And what I said is that the definition of straw manning is criticizing a point that I did not make. Yeah, which is not what straw manning is. How is that not what straw manning is? I'm just like, they're synonymous. Okay. No, they're not. So making an argument yes, and are. then me using that argument and making it weaker is not the same as taking an argument and arguing something that doesn't exist. Those two are not the same thing. You're misrepresenting what I'm saying. Oh, I'm... <laughs> I, okay. <laughs> You're stop wow. me again. You're stop me again. Okay. Stop so, so these two are not You're the same any... thing. Me so, arguing yeah, yeah, a point that you... doesn't exist let's is not the same as me blue. taking your argument and making it weaker. These two are not the same things. What you described as straw manning is not straw manning. Do you agree so, or do you disagree? I disagree. So, okay, then you are you retarded. You don't understand so how with, definitions work, and we cannot have a so good with, faith conversation with, about this. With the example that you gave about colors. That's wonderful. You Blaster, you, you are retarded. You cannot follow you simple really definitions really for terms like this, and we cannot really have a good speak. faith discussion. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. No, so with the I am done. Okay, colors, Blaster, to be clear, I'm ending the conversation. Oh, so you're retarded, basically, is what you're saying. I don't care what you oh, call God, me, okay. but if you can't follow so you think, simple so and basic, basic definitions basic for these things, then there is no point in having a discussion when you're going to use those terms. Okay, okay. So we're uh, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it back to what even sparked. I am done case. talking to you about this. So you're retarded. You can call me fucking whatever you want. I don't care. I'm not gonna deal with the fucking definition fagging of you inventing definitions for. That's what you did for... in the first place. You okay. made you. To, you to be clear, to be clear, blaster. <laughs> I am not, to be clear, Blaster, I am not going to have a discussion with you when you're going to invent definitions for words that have definitions set in stone. Words like accountability or accountable and words like straw man, right? You're inventing definitions for these words to align with what you believe. You're not using the actual definitions because if you use the actual definitions, your arguments would simply fall apart, right? Let's say, let's say hypothetically, let's say hypothetically that <laughs> my definition oh, of straw man was false. Even if what my my definition of strawman is false, what you did was still misrepresenting my argument and still strawmanning me. When we're I'm I'm talking about how no! you said that. No, no, no. So you said it played further into her delusions. Delusions of what, mind you, Blaster? Let's hear it. Delusions. Delusions. Okay. Maybe, perhaps. <laughs> Of a minor being attracted to an adult being normalized? Is that correct? Sex in adults. Not to be attracted, but to sex in adults. I feel like... I feel like... Oh, you edited like, the message, too! <laughs> no, I edited... You want to... You can look at the change logs. I edited from a typo. Look at the change logs. Alright, dude. I don't have admin. I can't check the change logs. Dude, we gotta get Clover Cutie on the case. I don't, I don't think, think she'd get me friends. admin. Yeah, so, so you said it further played into her delusions, and then I said 16-year-old attracted to someone four years older than her. It's fucked. God has fucked us. And I think that's misrepresenting my arguments, because either you don't know... I think 16-year-olds should be raped. Delusions. That's what I think. <laughs> okay. I think that 15-year-olds that should not be sexting 19-year-olds. I think that a 15-year-old sexting a 19-year-old is based. True. W's, W's. Yeah, I just think losing months of your revenue and it being 14 years and you being harassed and uh, called really, really mad names and. Uh, oh, but lying about time... it's okay. But lying about it's okay because, you know, you had two months of bad revenue. So it's okay. Lying does, like, lying is really bad. Like, we should kill people if they lie, right? Lying is, like, the worst out of. Lying true, is worse than true, sexting true, a minor, true, apparently, true. yeah. True. 
this is an example. You just made follow. another example of, of you of you straw manning what I'm saying, and by making a, but but you're putting it in a joke in context because oh you know, <laughs> you're you're making you're making it a joke, but you're still kind of trying to discredit my argument by using things that I've never said. You're gay. You're gay. You don't like kids. Kind of gay. Blaster, when I tell him I don't want to talk about something and he's surprised I'm not taking it seriously. What? No! You're gay. Okay, so... This is so stupid. This is literally... Yeah, I think after 14 gay. years, like, to, to assume someone is the exact same and they should be held accountable to the same standards is, like, retarded, I think. Right? That's, I never said that he's the exact same person after 14 years. So why should he be I held accountable? I said that he failed. So why should he be held accountable? Remorse. Because he lied. So you're mad that he lied, not that he sexed at a minor. Both. You're mad at both, but he should only be held accountable for one of those things. He would it, okay, okay. Taking accountability for the sexy minor part would actually involve looking at the worst of the logs instead of, because he literally said, oh, there's only two of these that are bad. The rest of it is just video game talk, right? That is a blatant lie. Because he is failing. I like when I ask you a question and you don't answer it and you go on these like spur grants. It's true, awesome to me. True, 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 true. I even forgot what I asked. I don't even know if I can repeat it. But... True. You asked, and I quote, do you think that um, it was, uh, do you think that lying is worse than sexting a minor? End quote. I don't think that's... <laughs> <laughs> it was something like that. It uh, was something like that. It was I along wish those I said lines. That, that would have been way cooler. <laughs> it was something along those lines. But to summarize, uh, basically, you said is lying worse? Is lying what should be prioritized over sexting a minor? That's what That's you a good asked. Way to phrase it. What do you think, Blaster? Do you think lying should be prioritized over him sexting a minor? <laughs> yeah, hopefully he lies more than he sexts kids. Hopefully. Okay. So you're so not you going to answer the question. Do you think that we question. should prioritize confronting him about the lying or prioritize confronting him about the sexting a minor? Sexting a minor. But the reason why I said that. So really why do we need to hold him accountable? You, because, you care, because, because you care more. You care more about. Or you care less about him sexting a minor because it was so long ago. Right? But him lying demonstrates that he doesn't have any remorse remorse uh i don't think we can make that determination so you think if i steal 12 apples from the market and then i say oh i got caught and i never i only stole one apple is that Burn. really like i'm gonna do some more audience participation let's say you're 34 and 20 years ago or like 14 years ago or whatever you sexted a minor and it suddenly comes out do you think it's a good thing that you sexted a minor as a 34 year old uh when you were like 20 uh, no, I don't think. And you probably thing. think that would make you look bad if it came out that you sexted a minor 14 years ago, correct? Y yes. All right. So that shows that you either socially can deem this thing as bad, uh, or you genuinely think it is bad. Either way, you have a fundamental understanding that this thing is bad. So, Burn, I'm going to ask you this because I feel like I feel like you're smart, right? <laughs> In this situation, what would the reason be for someone to lie about something like this? Yeah, answer so the question. Possibly to cover up or miss from uh meandering, meandering. Answer the question. Is this GFA playing outside <laughs> fallacy? Pick up the pace. <laughs> when it comes to lying about it, I I don't think there's a good reason to lie about it. But I don't think the, there's objection. That's not the question. Like, like, there's like very small chances. The reason I think it's probably understandable why he would lie is because it's generally deemed bad to sex a minor, right? So the reason for yeah. him to lie is probably because he knows it is bad and he does not want to be seen as the person that he was 14 years ago, right? So to lie about something like this is to, for one, acknowledge that it is bad, and for two, to try and not associate yourself with what you did in the past. Because quite frankly, 14 years is an insane amount of time, right? Uh, for yeah. those for those in the class wondering, 14 years is also the age of the girl that he like raped, right? So this is like an insane amount of time. It's one more minor worth of age that this guy's had in life experience. One more rape victim worth of age, okay? So, yeah. Do you think him lying is him taking accountability? Not Probably not, no. 
I don't think like, he has taken accountability, but I also think I don't think he's obligated to do so, and I don't think we're warranted anything like that. Uh, I think to assume that we need an apology or need some form of accountability or anything like that is a little silly because uh, I think this guy is a YouTuber and you watch his YouTube videos. I don't think what he's done in his personal life really has any like warrant on us outside of like to laugh at it or, or to talk about it on like a live stream or whatever, right? I don't think, think we're should obligated. should be able to walk away with this, with his career in his hand better than ever, with everybody believing that he's innocent with the vast majority of people believing that he did nothing wrong and that his response was amazing and that he's a great guy yeah i don't care it's been 14 years i don't give a shit cool and we disagree yeah do you think pyro should have his channel taken away yes well now that i've now that i've been informed so happily informed that he actually knew the age and wanted to meet up and he did not um, want to more... meet up with them oh I, this I don't know where the, you uh, got that. And also, he's that even clarified told. that he never wanted to meet up. And on top of that, that he never knew the ages. No, that's wrong. He did know the age and he kept talking to them. He admitted this oh. in his response video. You can go watch it. Okay. My apologies. I You're thought right. he clarified. This is, in this this is drama that's like five years old. I don't know. <laughs> my, my brain is kind of... ADHD so brain think, doesn't allow it. You think that Pyro should similarly have his career taken away from him, correct, Blaster? I don't think he should I think he's a danger. <laughs> JFA, shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right, so we have, we also, have the peanut also gallery talking. So do you think that Pyrocynical should have his channel taken away from him? I think he Yes, because he he's potentially a predator. Okay, I need to fucking mute this bl like bender guy. He's like pissing me off. I'm about to punch something, dude. All right, Blaster. Do you think that Pyrocynical, similar to how you think Chugga Conroy, do you think both of these people should have their YouTube channels taken away? Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, I think there's like a word starts with an R, uh, I'm trying to think of Real. it. Real. Ends in Tid. Retarded? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, like... to assume that Chucka Conroy is still like a threat to children, I think is like really silly. And to assume he has the same mindset or thinks the same way as he did is really silly. There's no reason for accountability because accountability is like, obviously, he does not think the same, right? And if you do think the same, uh, or if you do think that he thinks the same, and he should still be held accountable, right, for what he did back when he was 20, you also have to acknowledge that his autism is so fucking bad that he didn't develop properly over the course of 14 years, and he's probably mentally fucked, and he's like mentally six years old, and if anything, Lolly raped him. So, True. I don't know. True. Damn, man. He went real quiet after that. Crazy. It's because he dropped the mic. Oh, wait. Did this go from DM to here or some shit? Yeah, that's what <laughs> I want to know. I was, I was fucking writing about Silent Hill and I want a background noise. And this guy comes in and he's like, he sent him Do you think it's me. bad that Chugga raped a minor? And I'm like, No, we rape is like morally this neutral. Hour, you star, dude. Oh morally neutral. Rape is morally neutral. And then you were like, Well, do you think like if it would be okay if he like raped another minor? And I was like, Yeah, I think it could. Like, I don't see a point in like protecting minors from rape or something like that. And he was like arguing that like rape is bad and like I will, raping minors I will is say, bad or something. I will I will pause it that like because like I'm only two years older than the uh well more or less three. Like I'm closer in age to the uh, to the victim, like I would I'm I'm more emotionally like involved in this than I probably should be. But why though? I, I think if I like, fucked a seventeen year old, blaster, 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 I'm twenty one. I fucked a seventeen year old. What is my punishment? Like I said before, it depends on. I met a fan. Hold on, I met a fan through YouTube. I met a fan through YouTube. They're seventeen. I fucked them. What, what happens school. to me? What happens to me? Oh, I already heard this answer. The fucking wood chipper. Okay, the, the high school thing doesn't matter. I dropped out of high school. Does that suddenly mean I'm less, like, mature no, and I'm able to the, fuck a 16-year-old? It's the victim's age. It's okay, victim, victim is, like, a savant, right? They're in college at 14. Does that suddenly make them able to consent to things easier or more? Yeah, just fucking, like, okay, if you know, hold on, blaster, 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 hold on, shut the fuck up or I'll mute you. I, I'm not, like, when I'm talking, I don't want to be interrupted, all right? You're gonna, you're gonna let me talk, right? So... If you have this line of reasoning with, uh, like, ages in terms of, 
where you're at in your life in terms of like schooling or in terms of grades and stuff like that, you have to answer these hypotheticals to make your logic sound, right? So we have a 14 year old who is incredibly intelligent, right? They skipped high school, right? They have a fucking high school diploma and they're in college right now, right? They're in college with people as old as like 24 in some cases, right? Is this 14 year old then suddenly able to consent to sex with people who are of the age of like 20 or 21? No, because they cannot understand the ramifications of that. But they can understand the ramifications of, like, a math problem or, like, a science equation to get all the way to college at 14. They don't have enough lived experience. So lived experience is what be, counts, they right? Could be, they could be incredibly... Chugga Conroy didn't have any lived experience, so that argument doesn't fucking matter. He was a neat shut-in who lived with his fucking mom, and he never talked to girls. He was a socially awkward fucking autistic yeah, retard, that, right? You said, that, you said that thing, like... Four times at this point, and there is like I've said it three. once at this point. But. Yeah, this no, is no, his no, first no, no, no. time it saying it. And you said it in DMs. Not DMs, uh, the server. I don't DM it's you. Fine. You're 17, and if I fucked you, I'd be killed. True, 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 true. Wait, we, the, wait. He's a minor. Yeah, Hold up. I, why is he in the server? Hold on a minute. 18, he's 18. Uh, I was about to be like, bro. I was about to be like, bro. Ain't, ain't no, ain't no way. <laughs> he had been in a relationship before. He had been in a relationship before. We don't and know he, that though. We don't know that. Why would he lie about being in a toxic relationship? Oh my man? god! To brag, to sympathy bait, to anything. Oh, I was, dude. That's okay, really hold on, hold on. Me when we don't have proof for something, but it must be real because he said it. True. Okay, hold on. Wait, Blaster. So you're just gonna take something off the basis of somebody says something. So, um, so what? You're not gonna ask for more evidence on that. You're not gonna wait until like there's some form of concrete evidence of that to occur. Oh, yeah, okay, Blaster. Because blaster, so, blaster, blaster. wait, hypothetical, is hypothetical Blaster? Blaster. There is a million dollars sitting right next to me on my desk. Is that true? Okay, I'm gonna get into I'm gonna get into your argument really quick. So. In regards to him possibly lying, so there's two outcomes. So either I like how he didn't about, answer the question. Okay, cool. I'm yeah. I'm answering right now. I'm answering right now because I'm oh, I'm answering the larger I'm point that you're back making. In my chair, going on TikTok. True. So there's two out. There's two possible outcomes when he's talking about <laughs> talking to other like fans, talking to other girls. And you said this. You said this yourself earlier. You said he's either telling the truth and he actually did talk to these other girls, or He's lying to try to impress her. <laughs> he's trying to impress a 15-year-old. He's trying, he's like, like, what does that lead to? That leads to pedophilia. He just doesn't care, dude. It's like retarded. Blaster, you <laughs> answered the question. I did! You know you didn't. You're uh, skirting so back around to my it. my question, because I didn't give a shit about that. I have a million dollars on my desk right now. Is that true? I don't know. Is it? Okay. <laughs> Are you retarded? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, but Chugga uh, DMing this girl, everything he says must be true. Like, it, it must be okay, true, right? Okay, 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 okay. So, in the in the point that it is, if it's not true, if it's not true, right? If it's not true, it, it he's trying to impress her, right? In your own words, he's trying to impress fifteen year old by telling him about other girls. Wait, right? you're and telling me going. Chugga Conroy texted a fifteen year old? Again, you're just you you. This is what you do. What, what the you do. hell? You're just, you're Wait, you're telling me he was trying to impress a minor? Oh, I didn't know this until you just now told me. You do this every day. This is this is you're falling back on this shitty ass fucking fallacy. <laughs> because it's retarded. We all know the fucking ages. You're like you're bringing this in as it's some sort of bombshell. Like, what if I told you Chugga Conroy talked to a 15 year old? And I'm like, oh, okay, that's really bad. Like, he did this, like, what yesterday? If I told you no, 14 years ago. Okay, dude. I'm literally addressing the point that you're making, that is, if he's lying about talking to other girls, right? And having other experiences. And then when I do address it, and you're like, whoa, oh my god, 15? Like, you're being retarded. I think, okay, you're so you're saying something. The reason for him doing this is because he was talking to a 15-year-old? Yes, he was talking to a 15-year-old! Every part of his reasoning is because he was talking to a 15-year-old. That's a nothing statement. It means absolutely fucking nothing. We all comprehend it. You're saying the sky is blue. You're not saying anything new. You're not saying anything interesting. You're not saying anything intellectual. You're not adding anything to the fucking discussion, right? You're for well, some you reason you care, believing right? every you single thing that Chuck... No, I'm going to fucking right? mute you, you because nothing. you're fucking retarded. Holy shit. You're for some reason, for some yeah, wild fucking care. reason, every single you thing Chugga says has to be true, no matter what, right? Everything he says has to be true because he's talking to a 15-year-old, right? He's trying 
trying to fuck the 15 year old so everything he says has to be true right or if it isn't true it's because he's talking to a 15 year old no shit you fucking retard you're so stupid you're fucking retarded you're literally strong manning me i'm not strong calm down check your blood pressure bro is your blood pressure okay everything all right is that fuck jeez anyway what I was saying is that <laughs> dude, he told you at the very beginning of this conversation that he wasn't talking to you about this, and then ever since then, you seem to have had this impression somehow that he was gonna take this conversation seriously if you just keep pressing on. But no, you're you're okay, Blaster. My issue with you, to be clear, because at this point, obviously, I care enough to fucking participate in this conversation. I think it's retarded that you just like you you're fucking like you want to argue about this so bad. But right, okay. Here's my issue. We all know that he was talking to a 15 year old, right? This is something we all know. So you bringing this in like it's new information. Like, well, why was he doing this? He was trying to get a 15 year old to like him. Of course, that's the point of the fucking conversation. You're not saying anything new. You're not adding anything. That is a nothing statement. That means nothing, right? That's like me talking to a girl and you're like, well, why was he talking to her? Why was he asking her about like her hobbies and like what she liked? Because he was trying to fuck her. Like, yes, dude. What? Like, you're, you're not adding anything. You're not saying anything new or interesting or, like, intellectually stimulating, right? You're saying the fucking sky is blue. Obviously, this guy was interested in her. Obviously, he wanted her to like him, right? We can tell that from very basic fucking understanding of the logs. Like, there's even parts where he's like, oh, you have a crush on me. Like, dude, obviously, this is his intention. Obviously, this is what he wants, right? The thing we think, disagree on... I think, I think on, you think this is an own, but I think you're, like... Too retarded to no, I don't like, think it's an own. We're not fight like there's no owning, there's no winning this, dude. I don't fucking give a shit. You could walk out of this on top, and I it would not fucking change my day. I don't fucking care, dude. But you're acknowledging that he that he like wants a 15 year old to fuck him. Wait, you're telling me this? Are you doing this again? I didn't know she was 15 until you just now told me, and you're telling me that. <laughs> wait, he sexually role played with her? What the hell? What the fuck? You're so funny, dude. Yeah, thank you for telling me she's 15. I didn't know until now. It's really, really good. Oh Tell us what else you know, Blaster. Yeah, again, we, we agree that what Chugga did was bad. He is the adult. He should have turned it down. Everybody agrees. Nobody does. Nobody thinks what he did is like normal or should be the norm or should be like uh, a thing that is allowed, right? You cannot find a sane person who thinks that way. Nobody thinks that way. Everybody thinks what Chugga did was bad, right? Uh, the only thing no. we disagree on, Blaster, is I don't think after 14 years, this guy should have his career ripped away, or he should be, like, obligated to be held accountable for something he did 14 years ago. We, when we disagree, then. I mean... So why did you come in this fucking VC and start an argument? Because you started true, us on, on the server. Okay, dude. Yeah, why'd you start this, bro? <laughs> My minor daughter is gonna get raped by a pedophile, and then I'm gonna come to Blaster, and he's gonna like, he's gonna, he's age. gonna fix it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix everything, dude. I'm gonna fix everything. Yeah, I think Carson, call me Carson, should also lose his YouTube channel. He's balding. <laughs> true, true. I'll take it away myself. I mean, Never okay. How about this? How about this? Actually, that's a good, that's a good example, right? Call me Carson. Uh, the people who exposed him claimed that he was talking to multiple 16-year-olds at the time, like targeting specifically people who are under the age of 18. Just because they said it, even though they didn't provide proof, would you take them at their word? No. But their intention was to expose a pedophile, right? The same as Chugga's intention to talk to a minor. So where, how does this logic come across for you? Their intention could be to try to slam So how do we know Chugga's intention? You said it yourself that Chugga's, like, the reason why he no, would lie. No, okay, I... Hold on. That's not my question. To be clear, I asked you, how do we know Chugga's intention? I just got fucking mind blasted. I don't know why his intention is the way it is, right? I don't know. You have to teach me. Off of the facts. 
off of the facts. So the people who exposed Carson called into drama alert, who at the time was predominantly known for exposing people who were pedophiles. We can look at the Lion Maker case. We can even look at the Skydust Minecraft case to some extent. We can look at the Gin Bob stuff, right? We can look at all these people. And Call Me Carson at the time was known for doing Minecraft, among other things, but mostly Minecraft with SMP Live and SMP Earth and all of these things, right? So we can come to a solid conclusion that these people probably wanted to expose them for being a pedophile on Keemstar's show to get the most amount of eyes on it, right? Do you disagree? It could be, like, just because they're trying to get eyes on it, just because they're going to drama, it doesn't mean that they have good intentions. Okay. It could just be, like... They just, so they just could be, because like, Chugga was sexting this minor doesn't necessarily mean he wanted to fuck her. Mm. <laughs> Struck a I chord with NFL. <laughs> I think he wanted to fuck her. I mean... No, no, no. He's uh, you think he, okay? So again, the intention with the Call Me Carson people was obviously to expose a pedophile, and you disagree, correct? Well, we can't. Yeah, we can't know their intention. So we can't. We, know we can make Pacho. educated guesses, though. We can make educated guesses. So your educated guess is that Chugga wanted to like diddle a kid, right? That's your educated guess. Correct. Okay. And then for some reason, the people who went to Keemstar with an adult talking to a minor, their intention somehow isn't to expose a pedophile. Did they have proof for that? Uh, supposedly, allegedly, yeah. Did they, show, they didn't show that proof. Oh, they did. I mean, we can look at the situation with Carson. The minor is still out there talking about it to this day. <laughs> but you said, I thought you said, like, initially that they didn't have proof for the other ones. That he was like, it was like a serial. Oh, we're not there yet. We we're not there yet. The we're not there yet. So you think, so to be clear, do you think that their intention to going to Keemstar with an adult talking to a minor, do you think their intention is to expose a pedophile or no? It could have been noble. It could have been for ulterior motives. I'm it not asking, I don't know what the word noble or ulterior motives are, okay? I'm asking you yes or no questions right now. Sure, they wanted to fucking and, uh, expose them. So sure. because their intention was a certain thing, everything they say has to be true. No. Okay, so how is it different with Chugga? How is everything he says suddenly true, even though we don't have evidence for it, because of his intentions? Okay, so... He's, the reason why he would say those things, the reason why he would say, like, there's other girls that are reaching out to me, and they're telling me about their crushes, 12 to 14-year-old girls, you know, and there's this other girl that, you know, I'm having, I'm pursuing a relationship with, we can agree that those are possibly falsehoods, right? Those could be, those are not 100% true. And I agree. I agree. And you said earlier that the reason he would say those things if he was lying was to make her jealous. Correct? <coughs> I don't think I've said the word jealous this entire call. Okay. Okay. But demonstrating an attempt to. Just try to like, I, I don't know, dude. It's uh, Joe, Joe Biden. Yeah, it's hard, huh? My brain is bulging out of my skull right now. I got to push it back in. Who's the hold, who's the oldest person in this call right now? Do we know? Me at twenty-eight. You're twenty-eight. Thirty-one. Yeah. Beta. Okay. Fifty. Beta. Do you remember when you were twenty? Yeah. Do you think, uh, with the knowledge that you have now as a thirty-year-old, you could feasibly be held accountable for something you did at the age of twenty? Yeah. In what uh, terms? Could you elaborate? <sighs> okay. So, do you think I could be held accountable for? I mean, you could be held accountable for anything. Well, that's obviously not what I'm asking, right? Do you understand the I'm, question, I, or do I need to be more specific? It, it, be more specific, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's say you're a YouTuber at 20. Mm -hmm. You did something, right? 
Well, right. at, at the start, I'll make it more specific if needed, but at the start, it's just ambiguous. It's something that the society would generally deem as bad, right? It's not okay. necessarily sexting a kid. Um, we can take it there eventually, Blaster, just so you know. Uh, but you've done something socially deemed as bad, right? And it was kept under wraps, and then you turn 31, the age you are right now. Suddenly, it becomes public, and people are shitting on you. Do you think people criticizing you or shitting on you is, like, warranted? And do you think you should be held accountable for this thing that you've done, like, a decade ago? Uh, or do you think it's more feasible that, like, it doesn't matter, it's been 10 years, and you're clearly, like, a different person, and, and like, intellectually and philosophically and all that? No, you should still be held accountable for it. Why do you think that? Well, it's because you're, you're doing something that, in the eyes of the public, is wrong. And so... But you've done that thing 10 years ago, to be clear. Done nothing. Okay, so... Uh, so okay so let me let me let me ask this so if i i did something wrong at 20 right yes now like, you're 31 and it's come to 31. public so this it's was not nobody knew about this until you turned 31. okay so and now <laughs> does that give the public criticism like uh the ability to give me criticism yeah it should because like, but this is something that you've done 10 years ago right so do you think that you're the same person at all do you think that you think the same way or have the same mindset i, just, I mean i'm not the same person i was when i was 20. exactly so do you think you should be held accountable to the same extent as if you were 20. i mean still it, it depends on the bad the bad action that mm. yeah it should be held accountable but not to the extent that it should be if people are figuring out like hey He's definitely a different person than he was when he was at that age. So, like, that that's pretty much how I, I think of it. Like, I... I, mm. I see. I feel like I picked an NFL Sonic type to have this discussion. <laughs> No, uh, can I? I, I, I <laughs> picked a fucking tire. Okay. Train, okay? <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Hold on a minute. Okay. So okay. here's here's gonna be my counter argument to you. Is here's gonna be my counter argument to why somebody should be held held accountable for their actions for something ten years oh, hey, ago. Yeah, okay. Depending okay. depending on what the, the situation is, so you said in this instance, this isn't se to, um, sexually talking to a kid. Um, so no, it is. What do you mean? Okay, it, th the, this the laws one are like public. Okay, so obviously. No, I thought we were talking about the hypothetical. So about I thought we were talking about the hypothetical. So oh, I mean, oh, okay, I thought you were talking. We can <laughs> go ahead, and the hypothetical, but in but in the in the but if we want to talk Chuck Conroy, um, the reason why he should be held accountable still is because of the fact that the victim still has to live with this for the rest of their life. They are going to be affected by this forever. This is going to be something that they think about probably for the rest of their life with therapy and stuff like that. They'll get better with it, but it's so there's the still going to be affected. Are we talking specifically about Chugga? Well, if, if we want to talk about Chugga, then yes, that would be my argument for that. Uh, sure. So specifically with Chugga, the minor in question, mm -hmm. uh, specifically went out of her way to like talk to adults. She said this to Chugga, and mm -hmm. apparently one of the only reasons she was talking to Chugga was because uh, like she was into adults or she wanted to target adults, right? That doesn't make it okay if an adult reciprocates with her, to be clear. That makes it like really bad. Uh, but mm -hmm. in a case where a child is going out of their way to interact with an adult in a way that is like probably unsafe, we can't like, it, for one, what what's really going to stop like if she is dead set on talking to adults uh i don't think there's there's much we can do in terms of like stopping potential trauma i guess i don't know um and then also with her uh she forgot this entirely happened she forgot this happened until like people were canceling him so i don't think it's the case that she was like traumatized by this event okay uh, i don't think it's the case she was like groomed into liking feet or anything because i don't think she has a foot fetish as of now like i don't i don't think there's 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 like any um any any trauma or anything like that okay so also so how long let me go to chug his channel how long has he stopped making videos for it was 
Between so I wanna. I, I have uh, seven, okay. Six so months. it was a gap of six months, right? Okay. Yes. So then, I, I my question would then be: So then, should we stop going after people like Red Kiwis? Because what happened to Red Kiwis was, what was that like? Eleven years ago, two thousand what fourteen, fifteen? Should we stop going after him because of the fact it's been that long? Um, with Red Kiwi specifically, probably not, because I feel like he was malicious in his intent when he was talking to that person. I don't remember a lot about that case, but I do remember. Uh, okay, I, so I remember your argument is malicious intent. I, I'd argue that an adult, like even, even if this minor was going after adults, yes, it's bad. And there's not much we can really do about that. However, what we can do is punish the adult who are adults and should know better in the situation and hold them accountable as adults. Like, yes, Chugga is autistic and he was a ne who lived with his mom for in seclusion for years. And those are factors that should be taken, uh, taken into consideration in a courtroom. However, in the eyes of the public opinion, that shit doesn't matter. They, most, most internet people do not care about, about your upbringing at all. They see the fact that you messaged a minor, and that's all they see. That's I mean, all that's they see. Like retarded Discord debates are, as we fucking talk about like pedos and kids and figure out what's like, <laughs> wrong and correct. So, <clears throat> I mean, I think like based on some simple math, it's more than likely he lost like upwards of a quarter million to like half a million dollars in ad revenue throughout the six months. Um, and then also he was like harassed and there's like allegations that he was like docs and stuff. Although I haven't been able to verify them. Uh, so I mean, I, I think, that's the internet. I think that's probably like punishment enough. I, 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 I don't, don't disagree. Persecuted after those. Caused by this douche. <laughs> NFL Sonic, you need to, I'm never, I'm not finishing that sentence. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm not, wait, I'm, wait, I'm not wait, really wait, sure. Wait, 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 wait. I'll finish it for you, fairy boy. And if Sonic, you need to get off the internet and rethink your life choices. All right, we gotta, yeah. we gotta, we gotta <laughs> positivity. We gotta yeah, keep that, like that positivity around in this server. You know, we can't be angry at everybody. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go punch that child in the face. <laughs> <laughs> punch in the but yeah. Uh uh, and honestly, and all, in all honesty, I think that Blaster, you you had a lot of points that you could have made that you just didn't. I think that you really need to like sit down and and really structure your your system out a little bit better when you come into these debates. Uh, I, this is just more of a constructive criticism of you. This isn't a personal yeah, I attack. I, agree. I think that I agree. Um, like for example, you you could have argued that that like what I just did earlier is that you could have been like well the victim's going to live with this forever so chugga should live with this just as much that could have been a perfect a uh, counter argument but you never used it <laughs> at all and and it hurts to see that because like y you're not dumb i think that you're just a little bit scatterbrained and I think you should uh, do I some think he's notes. Very passionate about this topic to a point of his downfall. I think that's. I thing. I also agree. I think that you need to take a step back, my guy. There's a reason I mean, why. Really I, I I think that the, there's a reason why, especially in law enforcement and stuff like that. If somebody's too close to a case, they usually pull that person off, and this is why. <laughs> yeah. Because they go into the situation so tunnel visioned that they miss the obvious. I and they end up making a fool of themselves, you're, which you're I'm not going to lie. I want to ask Abby a question. What do you mean by stock footage, right? Like, like from from potential pedophile to potential pedophile. What do you mean by stock footage, bro? That's kind of like my... <laughs> stock CP. Awesome. 